Hello friends, welcome back to Rajavali Education Channel. Here we are going to see how to balance the redox reaction by ion electron method. The question is taken from 11th Chemistry NCRT. Chapter is Redox Reaction. The question number is 18th question, book bag question. The subdivision is D, that is uh, dichromate ion plus SO2 gas gives chromium 3 plus and uh, sulfate ions. Now we see how to balance this redox reaction. In half reaction method, the first step is splitting of the given redox reaction into reduction and the oxidation reaction. In dichromate, the oxidation state of chromium is plus 6. It is reduced to chromium 3 plus. So dichromate to chromium 3 plus is reduction reaction. So sulfur dioxide to sulfate ion is oxidation reaction. The next step is we have to balance the central atoms. In reduction reaction, the number of chromium atoms are 2, but in product side, uh, only one chromium atom is present. So we can introduce 2 on product side. In oxidation reaction, equal number of sulfur, that is central atom, are present. The next step is we have to balance the atoms other than central atom. In reduction reaction, seven oxygen atoms are present, but on product side, no oxygen atom. So to balance this oxygen atom, we can add seven water molecules. Again, we have issues uh, because on product side, we have uh, 14 hydrogens, but in re on reactant side, no hydrogens. This reaction undergoes acidic medium, so this uh, 14 hydrogens we can add in terms of 14 H+. Now we have to balance the charges. On reactant side, for dichromate gives uh, two charges. 14 H plus gives plus 14. On product side, 2 into 3 plus gives 6 charges. Water molecules, no charges. So the net charges on reactant side are 12 charges. On product side, 6 charges. To balance uh, these uh, charges, we can add uh, 6 uh, negative charges on reactant side in terms of 6 electrons. The next step is balancing of the oxidation reaction. On product side, 4 oxygen atoms are present. On reactant side, only 2 oxygen atoms are present. So to balance this oxygen atom, we can add 2 water molecules on reactant side. Again, we have to balance the hydrogen atoms. To balance this hydrogen atoms, we can add 4 H plus on product side. Now we have to balance the charges on both the side. On reactant side, no charges. Both the molecules are neutral molecules. So the charge is 0. On product side, sulfate ion gives two negative charge and 4H uh, plus gives uh, four positive charges. The net charges on product side are 2 uh, plus. So to balance this 2 uh, plus charges, we can add uh, two electrons on product side. The next step is we have to add these two reactions, that is a reduction and uh, oxidation reactions. In oxidation reaction, we have only two electrons, but in uh, reduction reaction, we have six electrons. So we have to multiply this oxidation reaction by three to get equal number of electrons. Now we have to add these two reactions. The number of electrons on both the sides are same, so we can cancel out. Next one is the 14 H plus and 12 H plus. On reactant side, we have 14 H plus and product side 12 H plus. So on subtraction of uh, this uh, H plus gives 2 H plus. So on reactant side, we have Cr2 O7 2 minus plus 3 SO2 plus 2H plus gives 
and product side 2 Cr3 plus plus 3 SO4 2 minus 7 H2O minus 6 H2O gives 1 water molecule. So this is the balanced equation. Thank you all.